My name is Shreshta Rit Premnath. I graduated from CIA in 2003 in painting. I moved to Cleveland from Bangalore in India. For my first five years in this country, CIA was the entirety of my experience because a few of us spent all our time um, in the building, um, especially when we had our own studios in the painting department. Students don't realize when they're in school that you have so many resources that are focused on you. And never waste that because you'll never have it again. After CIA, I started graduate school at Bard College in upstate New York and have been living here ever since. I've had shows in museums, including the Yerba Buena Center in San Francisco, the Contemporary Art Museum in St. Louis, galleries in different parts of the world. I started a publication called Shifter, and we're on our 22nd issue. It turned into this kind of international platform for thinking through ideas, and each issue is focused on a theme or a topic, and we invite artists and critical thinkers and various people to contribute either text or image um, in relation to that topic. I had two careers. I had both Shifter and my art career. And through Shifter, I met curators. I met other artists who came to my studio, who curated me into shows. And in a way, Shifter then became a way into the art world. And the art world became the platform for Shifter. And I didn't plan on it, but it worked out quite well. So this piece is from my most recent exhibition called Not, Not, Not. I've been interested in this form of what is called a zero knot. And in mathematics, the word not means a line without an end. So the simplest form of a zero knot would be a loop, like a rubber band. And so this piece, literally, if I held the two ends of it and pulled it, it would turn into a line. Um, although each of these things appear to be a knot, they're actually just a kind of entangled form of a line. This piece kind of thinks about that idea that something can simultaneously be zero and can have an infinite number of visual forms. One of the reasons I selected CIA as an 18-year-old without any clear sense of what I was going to do with art, I knew I wanted to be an artist, but I didn't know what kind of artist. It made me feel better that there was a school with so many different options so that I had those options if I needed. It was really the work ethic in a way that has remained with me and that I continue to emphasize, I think, in my own teaching now. It is really these small steps and people along the way who encourage you and allow you to pursue things that you're already interested in that lets you develop into the person that you want to be.